Around the world, governments are racing to roll out vaccines before these new variants take hold. In Canada, it is slow going. The federal government has repeatedly said every Canadian who wants a vaccine will get one by September. But we're not on target for that right now. Here is Canada's vaccination track record. The number of doses administered was rising in early to mid-January. It has now plunged, in large part because promised shipments of the Pfizer-BioNTech doses to Canada have stopped. The company says it's retooling its plant in Europe so it can scale up production. Major General Danny Fortin, who is leading the rollout in Canada, calls the delay a bump in the road. Pfizer has assured us that Canada will uh, receive 4 million doses that they had uh, previously indicated by end March. So they assured us of that, and we're working to that end with Pfizer. That promise, though, contradicts what the provinces have been told. They have been asked to plan for 3.5 million Pfizer-BioNTech doses by the end of March. And complicating all this is a push by Pfizer to stretch the number of doses in each vial from 5 to 6. But that requires a special syringe most vaccination sites don't have. Eric Sorensen has our top story tonight. The government's point person on vaccine distribution couldn't be more clear. Pfizer has assured us. That Canada will receive 4 million doses by end of March. Full stop. Except the government is straining to explain whether Pfizer will actually deliver 4 million vaccine doses. Ottawa's plan earlier this month showed a steady rise to more than 300,000 Pfizer doses to be delivered each week to a total of almost 4 million by the end of March. But a new planning document sent to the provinces highlights the recently announced cuts in Pfizer deliveries, down to zero this week and much lower numbers till mid-February to a total now of just over 3.5 million at the end of March, half a million fewer than before. Several premiers are unhappy. Uh, Pfizer has let us down uh, tremendously. It's, uh, again, unacceptable. You know, we, we, they have an obligation to meet the contract. Adding confusion, Pfizer wants to change the count for each vial of vaccine to six doses from five, which could help make up for any shortfall. But it's something Health Canada hasn't approved yet. What is the plan? The Prime Minister said he had a plan. The opposition is perplexed, suggesting the government is failing to deliver what it planned. But the Deputy Prime Minister insisted Pfizer's commitment, plus the doses from Moderna, will arrive by the end of March. Six million will arrive by the end of the first quarter, and every Canadian who wants to be vaccinated will be by September. The problem, this country can only administer what it receives, and that number for now is modest. Canada has distributed vaccines largely in line with the population of each province, in all distributing 1.1 million vaccine doses across the country. The total administered so far, more than 900,000. That's 81 percent. Most are just first doses. Doctors are concerned about any cutbacks this winter because the most vulnerable need vaccines sooner, not later. The fact that this is phase one, it's the most vulnerable phase. It's the one that will stop hospitalizations. It'll stop mortalities. We need to get this vaccine into our country and into people's arms as fast as possible. Ottawa insists the outlook remains promising because vaccine deliveries will ramp up to more than 20 million doses between April and June. But until then, the numbers will be low and the anxiety will be high. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.